Hey, what's good fam? See your favorite African brother reporting. Okay, so right here, I have a fresh update for you guys coming straight from J Prince Jr. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe. So, you know, I always say this, whatever you sow is what you're going to reap. And right now, it's falling back at J Prince Jr. You know, the way you treat people determines the way people are going to treat you. It determines the way life itself is going to treat you. Because trust me, without us being alive as human, race there is no life on earth you understand what i mean so you know karma always comes back and karma doesn't miss or lose any address right what you saw is what you're going to reap so what do you think is going to happen to j prince jr after the death of takeoff you understand what i mean even though you think about it and say okay cool that's not you know has nothing to do with him or stuff like that but remember that after the passing of takeoff it took this young man a lot of time for him to speak out about it and when he decided to do that you know he you know decided to be cocky about it you understand what i mean so that is why you have to be careful the way you are treating people and right now it's been reported in the state of houston that it's not been easy for j prince jr you know he's been going through a lot especially around his community trying to win people back you know giving out a lot of things in the community and nobody's coming through right everybody's looking at him like okay cool you know this is your last chance and you messed it up right we watched you we saw how you treated take off debt you know we saw how you came out to speak about it okay so you didn't pay no respect to that young man you know knowing that he died under your watch you understand what i mean and right now you're coming back to win our hearts for us to love you and give you respect no it's not gonna happen and it's really crazy because he decided to do something positive you know at the late hour and i don't think that's what he should be doing now you know that's what we all expected him to do at the beginning when take off died and right now what you saw is what you are going to reap how is life going for him and how is life going for the prince family in houston if you're in houston comment below tell me what's going on because the word on the street are saying that the family is facing a lot of you know calamities stuff like that and trust me karma always comes back what you sow is what you're going to reap be careful how you are treating people especially how you are handling things if you call yourself you know the boss if you say you are the owner of this town or you are the head of the game you know stuff like that you are the one that is running the street yes we know that but you know remember we are all human beings what you sow is what you are going to reap you understand what i mean and that's how it works you can't cheat nature you can't cheat god and you can't cheat karma and that's what's happening to j prince jr right now he's not finding life funny you understand what i mean a lot of people closer to him are saying that okay he fell sick you know he's been struggling with life and you know his mindset his mental state it's not been the same ever since take off bad you know he pretended to be a strong man he pretended to be a man that is strong and stuff like that and you know it's crazy because that is something you can't fight this thing have to do with your mental state you understand what i mean and he didn't treat take off right and right now karma is fighting him and that's how it goes a lot of people talked about it you know on the internet a lot of the eyewitnesses came out to talk and they were threatened a lot of them say that you know they got a call from the prince family telling them not to say anything not to testify against them and stuff like that and here we are dj part has been locked up and he's been going crazy behind bars you understand what i mean he's been going crazy behind bars and he can't really testify because you know that's how street dudes behave and he's behaving like one he can't snitch because if he snitch his club is in houston his business is in houston you know everything around him he built it you know in houston and around the prince family He's, he's a member of the mob ties. So, why you know, Luchi's rap manager, lot, he's in uh, that you family know, shot too. his mom three times so and stuff really like that. Right now. Check out this clip. But know that everything I'm saying is allegedly anyways. 
You know what I'm saying? Because nobody's coming to hold me responsible for anything I said on the video. It remains allegedly. You know, but we are just speculating what the streets are saying. And obviously, if you want to really know what's going on in the world, you know, forget about the news. Forget about the headlines. Watch what is going on in the streets. You know, because the news can lie. The headlines can lie, but the streets cannot lie because you are watching the streets with your eyes widely open. You understand what I mean? So, J Prince, you know, finally getting what he deserved. You know what I'm saying? You know, for my own opinion, I say that I didn't see him doing what he's doing right now and he's not doing it right he went out in the community he was trying to give back to the community you know sharing things this christmas period and stuff like that you know but nobody's really accepting it because everybody's angry at him the way he treated take off the way he treated all these guys that came around him that lost their life you understand what i mean you are trying to give back to us when the people that came around you you treated them so bad and you didn't have no respect for them so what are you really trying to do are you trying to buy us back and he came out on a live video on instagram or stuff like that to say something consigning takeoff on you know what's going on because he refused to testify and remember the bowling alley in houston has been reported that he's been he's been owned by the prince family the Prince family owns the bowling alley in Houston. So they know all that happened inside that bowling alley. You understand what I mean? And J. Prince Dino refused to testify. He refused to testify against the person that, you know, killed Takeoff. So why is that? And the streets are telling him when he was trying to give back to the community, they are telling him, listen up, if you, if you say that, you really respect takeoff and you are sad about what happened to takeoff you know what happened to takeoff under your watch why not go out there and testify against the person that you saw that shot takeoff you saw it you were there and you didn't say nothing you refused to cooperate with the police and you wrote your name off anything that has to do with takeoff and it's actually crazy you know what i'm saying it's actually crazy because the street is no more happy with you know j prince jr people are no more trusting him in houston people are kind of staying away from him because you know he's been doing things to people that you know it's really crazy and people are not trusting him anymore so if i should ask you what do you think about this situation with j prince jr you know he's not mentally stable right now and allegedly he's not mentally stable you know the news and the word on the streets are saying that this dude is gradually going north you know what i'm saying he's gradually going north and it's not really easy on him right now because it's like what he saw is what he's reaping and you forgot that you know you are not the owner of your life you don't own your own life why you are out there taking out other people's life? You think you own your own life? No, bro. You don't own your own life. That's why you have to treat people good. You understand what I mean? Nobody knows the day they are going to go. So when you are living life, make sure that you are treating people right. Because even though you die, you're still going to leave your children, your kids out there. And people are going to treat them the way you treated other people. Trust me. That's how it goes. You understand what i mean but you know that's what's up i want to hear from you guys go ahead and share your opinions on the comment section tell me what to think about it don't forget to smash that like button subscribe and see you on the next video memes official and i'm out let's go